Hey, what's up guys? It's Lucas and you're watching Fine Tuning. So if you watch the channel, you may know that I'm a guitar tech and I do a fair bit of guitar tech work, uh, not just for myself, but also for other people and some stores and stuff like that. And every so often something comes through that I feel like is cool or unique enough that I'd like to show it to you, at least briefly, in a video. And so I have one of those to show you today. So this is a 1982 Ibanez Artist. It's a semi-hollow guitar. Um, this would be made in Japan in the Fujijin factory, the same as my, uh, where, I can't, ah, my Greco back there, same place. Mine was made in 77, this was made in 82, but the same factory, generally the same people, same kind of build ideas. Um, so this is really cool because, so far as I can tell, it is 100% completely stock as it came from the factory, just, you know, has got a fair bit of wear on it. I don't know exactly what model of Ibanez artist this is. Um, if you are one of the uh, like hardcore Ibanez aficionado guys, you might be able to tell me, leave me a comment below and let me know what model it is exactly. But it is an artist, as you can tell from the name artist on the truss rod there. And, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so far as I can tell, this is completely stock. It just came in because uh, the switch needed to be cleaned out and I had to clean the jack a little bit, some stuff like that, just, you know, basic upkeep. So I thought uh, we would just plug it in and hear a little bit about what it sounds like and then I'll tell you kind of what it feels like and uh, tell me what you think. So anyway, let's check it out. Okay, so I've got the guitar plugged in through my pedal board and into my Legend A60 combo back there. Um, rather than using the speaker and a mic today, I'm using my uh, Torpedo Captor. Um, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Torpedo Captor uh, to take the amp signal and run it into an impulse response. And that's just because my three-year-old daughter's in the next room and I want to bug her. <laughs> so um, that way I can kind of keep the volume manageable. But, you know, you, you should get a pretty good idea. So um, we'll play some clean sounds. There's some reverb happening from the amp's built-in spring reverb. Um, and then we'll uh, switch over and play some dirty sounds as well. And you can just kind of hear what it sounds like. <laughs> gainy sound from the dirtier channel of my legend amp.
here's a little bit more gain. I'm uh, hitting the front of the amp with the uh, Dan side of the Keeley DNM drive, and I've also added a little bit of analog delay in the effects loop, and that sounds like this. <laughs> a quick little overview of what it sounds like so as far as what it feels like to me this feels like a dad guitar like my my dad in particular um, this has got what I would call very short frets on it which is kind of you know something that they were doing a lot of the time especially with these kind of guitars my Greco is like this too it's got really really short kind of almost fretless wonder frets which is a little weird for me I'm, I'm kind of more used to bigger taller frets so even with uh, very light gauge strings which I think this probably has like nines on it or something it feels like really weird under my fingers which is I'm not, <laughs> not not as comfortable playing licks on this type of guitar but I just thought it was so cool that I had to share it um, <clears throat> I the sound to me is really cool because it's very sensitive the pickups and the way the guitar is built it's very very sensitive and so you can really get a lot of different sounds by just changing how hard you play not even messing with the controls or anything just kind of and you could probably hear it a little bit as I kind of just pick lightly it would really change the timbre of the guitar in a really interesting and unique way. So this is uh, would be a great guitar for anyone who has that kind of dynamic playing style. Um, I mean, you could lay into it too if you want, but if you want to play softly and with some real kind of like finesse, this guitar is going to really highlight that, which is awesome. Also, the fingerboard on this guitar is ebony as far as I can tell, and it is like slippery like glass <laughs> I mean it's the weirdest thing when you have these really short frets and then this incredibly slippery fingerboard it's like you bend a note and it's just like whoa just, your hand just shoots across it so this is one of those where you gotta like exercise some restraint if you're like me and you kind of tend to kind of lay into stuff this guitar doesn't want you to do that it wants you to play with intention you know what I mean which is really really cool um, but yeah I, I just think this is a really neat guitar it's I don't know what the if this is mahogany or what's going on, but it's I mean it's beautiful. It's got this kind of violin looking burst on it, and it's the same thing on the back. It's very pretty. Um, it's just a really really cool guitar. The neck feels great. It's kind of like I would call like kind of a thinner C shape. Um, maybe not quite as thin as my Greco, but a, a, a thinner type C shape. Um, but yeah, I think this is like definitely like a my dad type of guitar. He would love this because it's got just a like kissing the fingerboard low action and really really short frets and a really slippery fingerboard so um, hopefully he's gonna uh, somehow find a way to end up with this because I think this would be uh, his type of guitar but anyway I hope this has been cool for you um, if you like I said if before if you know what model uh, artist this is um, leave it in the comments and that would be super helpful um, but yeah until next time I'll catch you later